Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In the early 1850s, Frederick Law Olmsted made a tour of the American South as a special correspondent for a newspaper known today as the New York Times. This was early in Olmsted's career before he became known as the father of American landscape architecture or the designer of New York Central Park and scores of public and private gardens. He arrived in the Natchez District in May of 1854 and immediately recognized that the grand feature of Natchez was the bluff and the view of the great Mississippi. He came upon it quite by surprise. I suddenly found myself on the very edge of a great cliff, he wrote, and before me an indescribably vast expanse of forest, in which directly in front of me swung the round, red, setting sun. Through the otherwise unbroken forest, the father of waters had opened a passage for himself, forming a perfect arc. It was only from this overlook that Olmsted realized the size of the Mississippi. This view, he noted, shamed all my previous conceptions of the appearance of the greatest of rivers. Olmsted lay down atop the bluff and let his mind rest on the infinite vision westward. He observed a few succulent trees, a slight wooden footbridge, plain benches and some shrubs planted along the crumbling face of the cliff. His thoughts were soon interrupted by a hog which was rooting in the turf of the wonderful garden. Olmsted's articles were finally published in book form entitled The Cotton Kingdom in 1860. After a long and amazingly successful career, Frederick Law Olmsted died on this day, August 28th, in 1903. I'm Teva Saxon Cardno, and 2016 president of the Adams County Master Gardeners, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.